Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Roblox high CPU usage. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer under this video. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, when you're playing games on Roblox, sometimes you will get that lag unfortunately so you might you might have a very old computer or the power for your computer is not actually optimized so you're having that lag so i'll be showing you ways on how to fix this one now the first way for you to fix your lag in roblox is we want to first adjust the application that is actually running in our background so let's just minimize this one now in here at the bottom right of your screen, you will see the arrow here that says show hidden icons. Just click on that. And as you can see, there's different application that is currently running in my background. So for example, if you have wallpaper engine running in your PC, which actually uses a lot of memory and uh, processing power, which you might want to actually close this one if you would like it. So just basically close any application that you're not currently using in here. So that's the basic one. So there's actually a more advanced of closing application. So you want to hit on control shift escape. It's going to boot up task manager here. So here you'll see different application that is currently running in your PC. This is more detailed. So if you don't see this specific UI appearing on your PC, make sure that you click on the more details button at the lower left section and you'll be able to see this UI here. Now, as you can see, if you're running two browsers, make sure that you only run one browser or even no browsers at all if you're running it in Roblox Player. So yeah, because browser uses a lot of memory and, mem and CPU and power. So make sure that you actually close any of the application that you are not currently using. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that we want to check is for the background processes because sometimes there are unused background processes here. So, for example, this is for Logitech. Since I'm not using Logitech, I could close this one if I'd like. So, you also have different sections here and just basically check for any applications that you are not currently using. So, if you're not playing League of Legends or Valorant, make sure that you actually close the right client here. So Razer Cortex, you could also close that one if you have it installed. And yeah, the next thing that we could do here is we want to actually adjust our power options. So at the lower left of your screen, that's where you search bar here, you want to type in the following, which is adjust appearance and performance. Just click type that out and you'll be able to see this option here. So as you can see, by default, your PC will be set to adjust to best appearance. So it means that your PC would actually prioritize the best way on how your PC is going to look like. So as you can see, sometimes the bar at the bottom is going to be semi-transparent semi depending on your settings and it's going to animate some of the stuff here. So if you're going to open something, as you can see, there's that quick animation, fade in, fade out animation. So that's adjusted to best for appearance. So if you're going to choose best performance, it's going to actually prioritize best, uh, best performance over appearance. So meaning all of the animation will actually be removed. But the great thing about this one, it's going to limit the usage power or the usage for other resources so you'll be able to actually use other those resources on your game so in turn your games will actually load a lot faster but if you don't want to use either of the settings like for example you just want to uh turn some things off here so let's just choose custom now in here there's a lot of settings that you can actually turn off here so you, if you want to turn on a specific setting here like for example enable peak so meaning whenever you actually hover over something you'll be able to see it so if you want to enable that just click on the next the check box here so that you'll be able to enable that but yeah you just need to minimize on what animation or features that you want to enable here and yeah, from here, just click on apply and click on OK and you should be good. Now, the next thing that we could do right now is to basically clear out our temp folders. So to clear out our temp folders is we want to hit on our keyboard, the Windows logo and R. Or you could just basically go ahead and go to your search bar here and type in R-U-N. And you'll be able to see the run application here. Go ahead and open that up. Now here, you want to type in the following, which is percentage temp percentage and just click on OK. 
So it's going to open up this folder. So what you need to do here is you want to actually select all of this folder here. So it's going to be a lot, especially if you're uh, uh, doing a lot of things or you haven't visited here. But the shortcut for this one is you could just hit on Control A on your keyboard. It's going to automatically select all of the files here. Now, what you need to do next is you want to actually right click on the files here and you want to delete everything that you see in this folder. So no worries, this folder is actually a temporary folder. So it means that these files are not actually that not that necessary, meaning it could be replaced or this is like temporary memory where things are dumped and checked in so that things would actually load a lot faster. So for here, just delete this one and check if that actually solves your issue. And finally, the last solution that I would actually suggest you to do here is you might want to actually try going to settings here. So if you haven't adjusted your settings, just click on escape and go to settings. And here you want to actually scroll down a bit until you see graphics quality. And you want to actually make sure that you actually use the uh, uh, reduce the graphics quality here as much as you can. So if you can't adjust your graphics quality, make sure that you adjust graphics mode instead of automatic, make it manual and reduce as much as you can and you would actually uh, notice a significant uh, lag <laughs> reduce a significant lag into your game so yeah so that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video